Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's uh, Thursday the 12th of October 2023. I hope you are keeping well. My voice sounds a bit croaky. It's because I haven't spoken to anyone yet this morning. <laughs> That's the only reason why. Let me warm up and ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, voice is now in working order. And uh, I should be playing the Guardian hard level Sudoku Puzzle in just a tick. Uh, I notice um, 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 the uh, most people watching this channel are probably male and probably uh, getting on in life, let's say, uh, according to the demo the breakdown that I get from YouTube on who is my audience. Um, so if alopecia is one of your <laughs> uh, suffer one of the th one of the things that you suffer with, maybe don't take up break dancing. I just noticed. Um, uh, an article in today's Guardian that said that the Thai national breakdancing team, uh, apparently on a uh, trip or demonstration um, in China where they have the Asian Games, uh, which is shown a lot on Thai TV here, but I don't really watch local TV much, I must admit, and especially I don't watch sport. Uh, breakdancing is a demonstration event, and uh, apparently <laughs> some people are suffering. Um, uh, it's it's causing them to lose hair when they spin on their head. So if any uh, if any um, geriatrics amongst you are <laughs> considering taking up break dancing, um, trying to relive a former glory, uh, maybe watch out for your crowning glory because that might suffer in the process. I wonder if it like if you kind of spin on your head, it it, it gives like a monk's if you know like a, a an, <laughs> one of those old friar type effects, you know, like a bold patch in the middle which expands and it's okay like like with a loop around the side. I have no idea what they look like anyway. Uh, I'm definitely uh, I like still like dancing actually, but I'm not really a break dancer. I think I'm like more likely to break a bone if I started to break dance anyway let's get on with the game of sudoku shall we um can i see anything yes i can i can see four blocking across here and up and down there so that's how i'm going to start today's guardian puzzle there's also sixes up here and a six there so let's have that one We've got six. Since now the sixes are highlighted, it's a bit easier to see. We can definitely get a six there. I'm playing the game before I've attempted to make breakfast, and so I have a feeling I'm going to get hungry halfway through. Um... Nothing is registering with me at the moment, so let's have a quick look around the grid and see if I can spot something. Go. Oops. Gives me a four there. Okay, we get a six now. One more, there it is in the middle. Right, six is goodbye. Uh, 
plenty of pears showing up, I think. Ones like so. Uh, one blocking this square, one blocking these two squares, and one blocking here. So in that column, there's our one. Can't quite finish them off though. I'm a bit quiet today. Um, that's just because I'm trying to look for stuff. Uh, okay, I've discovered a pair of five and seven here. We've got five blocking up here, so fives have to be there, right? We've got sevens blocking this way, so we've got sevens in those squares blocking down, so this must be a pair of five and seven. Knowing that that's five and seven, we're going to be left here with uh, two and three, so the two blocks there, that will be the two, and that will be our three. Now, three across here and across here means that will be a three. Uh, whoops, what's left to get in those squares? We're looking for four, we're looking for seven and eight, four, seven, eight. And there's one in each row, how about that? That's not very helpful, very unfriendly, I think. Uh, but knowing that's four, seven and eight, what are we left with? Two, three, five. Hmm. Five. Fives are up there. Two's there and three's there, of course. Okay. have ones there, we have threes there.
Uh, we've got four and eight across here, four and eight up there. That's a pair of four and eight in those squares. Now, that leaves five and seven. Obviously, we have five and seven here, but since we know now this one and this one is four and eight, that means that this has to be five or seven. Obviously, the seven blocks here. So that will be our seven. This will be our five, and that will be our five. Five blocks across here. Here's our five. Uh, we know this is 4 and 8. This is going to be 2 and 7. Okay. Uh, in this column, we're looking for 2, 9, I think. There we are. I knew there had to be a change somewhere. Now we got the five down here. That will give us five there. And we have five blocking uh, up here, up here, uh, up here, and up here. So in this row, that's the only space that's not attacked by fives from below. three blocks this square we need a three in this column it must be there and up here we're looking for two uh, so two blocks this square in this column here that's our two and this will be a nine I think it was nine blocking across here across here and up there there's our nine nine down here down here here's another nine nine blocking down here gives us nine in that square nine this way nine that way we can get nine there and that's six and nine done uh, this is going to be two eight so up here what we would be left with uh, six no, not six. Three. Three's across here. There we go. And three's down here as well. I think this is the last one. Yep, that's three, six, nine out of the way. Seven is one of our missing numbers here. Seven blocking up, seven blocking across that must be seven two is our last number here and two blocking up and across here i think most of the heavy lifting is done now actually uh two down here and across there that's our two done one more digit for this row um are you an eight i think you are uh, and of course the eight now blocks this square so we need an eight in this column there this would be a seven seven blocking up there and across there there's our seven seven this way that way means seven goes here uh, we still need a seven there and seven blocking across means we finish off the sevens missing number here is an eight eight blocks across here so that will be our eight and the last number here two i think uh, one digit missing from this row, I think it's a four. 
four blocking down will give me a four in that square and four across here means that's our four last number here is another eight uh, eight across and eight up here means there's our eight we still need an eight to finish this block uh, one blocking up here means this is one one across here puts a one in that square and we just need a five in these squares to finish, that's our Guardian hard level puzzle for a Thursday. See you around. Bye-bye.